you so much for joining me for another video. We are going to be chatting all about February obsessions and fails. These are the best and also the stuff that just didn't work out for me. In case you're new here, I'm Christine and this channel is dedicated to all things beauty, fashion, lifestyle, vlogs. Would greatly appreciate it if you would please subscribe and be a part of the Chicky crew. Please don't forget to give this video a like if you enjoyed it and also found it helpful and just enjoyed hanging out. We have a lot to get through in a very short amount of time because gonna head out to the gym after this. Let's first talk about hair care. Okay, we finally had the hair done. It has been a year since I've actually had it colored trimmed on the low i was just trimming it myself we did go a little bit lighter some parts do look a little bit on the lavender side because did leave the purple shampoo and conditioner in the hair a little bit too long not mad at it you know i'm definitely kind of vibing with lavender and lilacs right now wanted to mention a holy grail hair care product that recently came back in stock i don't know when it did come back in stock but it's definitely holy grail status and it is from the brand Kenra. It's the dry texture spray. If you have not tried this, girl, go to Ulta. I'm gonna link it down below. Order it, try it out for yourself. It is such an amazing dry texture spray. It's very soft. It holds the curls, the waves. It doesn't flake. I guess they reformulated it. It still it has the same exact good formula, except it doesn't hold as long as it used to. Hairstylist and I were talking about this the other day and we both noticed that we tend to use a little bit more of this product. Wish they didn't reformulate it, but you know, what can you do? It still is a really good dry texture spray. Also, it smells like berries, like strawberries. So it smells really good, it smells delicious. Let's talk about body care products and then we'll move on to the makeup. A lot of you know that I do suffer from keratosis pilaris. It's uh, hereditary, it's something struggled with my entire life and have learned to control it. So it's basically on my arms, did also have it on my back, on my legs, but that those areas have slowly faded just throughout the years. The ones on my arms are pretty noticeable and being very transparent, it does make me feel self-conscious. I've been using this product from Versed. It's a press retinol gentle retinol body lotion and have seen a very big difference the little marks fading on the arms not just saying that okay because you know i've been switching up the products the past couple of months to see which one works best this one by far is the most gentle it really has faded those marks significantly i was really surprised actually i wish i kind of took before and after pictures. I also had some scars on my legs. Notice that it also faded it. So it's a really gentle retinol body lotion. Highly recommend trying it out. If you're curious about a scent, it just smells like unscented lotion. Okay, let's move on to makeup because we do have a lot to kind of get through. Now, when it comes to liners, love, love, love felt tip liners. I've always had a problem with brush tip liners because it's so flexible that the wing ends up looking really crazy and I just can't control it. However, did find a liner and this one is from Revlon, Color State Micro Easy Precision Liquid Liner and this one is in black. It's also supposed to be waterproof, smudge proof, 301 blackout. So it's very pigmented. I'm wearing it today. So, I mean, it's a really pigmented black liner. The tip, it's a brush tip. So when you make your wing, the brush tip is flexible, but you still have a bit of control. Some of them are just way too flexible where it just goes all over the place. But with this, it has a bit of density. So you're able to really control how you wanna create your wing or create your line. Haven't had a problem with this at all. It doesn't budge, smudge, or smear once it sets in place. It's a really, really good one. Love how precise the brush tip is on this. You're able to really create a nice sharp wing with this liner. I was really impressed by it. I don't really hear too many people talking about this, but I know it is a fairly new product from Revlon. Did review this at the beginning of February, if I'm not mistaken. It's from the brand Ardell and it's their Active Duo Lash Glue. This is supposed to be for like that on the go, no hassle, touch up lash glue it's in the color black. Really wish that this was available in a clear. It really does hold the lashes pretty well in place. Now I'm not saying it's like holy grail status because I do have a lash glue which is definitely holy grail status. It's one of those 
I can pop on the lashes and not have to worry about it. Play time with this is probably about 10 seconds. It dries pretty quickly. So once you apply it to the lash band, give yourself 10 seconds and then pop it on because if you wait longer than that, you know with other lash glue, you normally wait between 30 to 40 seconds the lash glue will have already dried. It's a really good lash glue from Ardell. Just wish that it was available in clear as well. Mascara, the L'Oreal Telescopic, what is this called? Lift Mascara, which was so talked about at the beginning of February or mid-February. Black is black. Didn't get the waterproof version, went with the regular version. The wand is kind of strange because what you're essentially supposed to do is first comb it through the lashes and then you lift it with the bristles. Kind of have to get used to, but it really does lengthen and volumize the lashes because my lashes are straight point down and I barely have any. So this really defines them, it volumizes them and gives them some length. Now this does not give you the look of, you know, like you're wearing false lashes. It looks like you're wearing mascara, but it really defines them. But overall, I think it's a good one from L'Oreal. Next time around, I would definitely pick up the waterproof version because the regular version does tend to smear on me a little bit, especially because, you know, when I'm at the gym, sweating, sometimes there can be like small little trickles of dots from the mascara. Recently filmed a whole tutorial using the Wanda Beauty Sweet Escapes palette, which I'm going to link up in the card area in case you haven't seen it. Make sure you check it out because it gives you a couple of ideas on maybe some looks to create for the upcoming springtime. Wearing the shadows today, if you love purples, I think you will really enjoy this palette. You have some shimmer, you have some duochrome mattes in here. The ones I'm wearing today all over the crease is just vacation mode and then all over the lid we are using in the clouds. And this color in the clouds, I mean, it is gorgeous. It looks a little bit darker but all over the lid, it really pops. It really just helps brown eyes pop in general. It's very complimentary, I guess, to brown eyes. And have just been really vibing with this palette. I mean, you guys could tell right now I'm wearing a lavender halter top because uh, we're just we're just really vibing with the color lilac and lavender in general right now. This is the only palette I've been really using for the month of February. And we'll probably also transition this into the springtime. I wanted to mention a lip mask that have been really enjoying. I think it's also really helped with the fact that my lips no longer look really dry and cracked and chapped. It's also very affordable. It's from the brand I Do Care and it's called their Plush Party Buttery Vitamin C Lip Mask. In my opinion, I kind of feel like this is even better than the Laneige Sleep Lip Sleeping Mask. Made a, a really good dent in this. It looks kind of gross right now because I just like dig my nail in there. But let me read you some of its benefits. So it does contain vitamin C, cocoa butter, vitamin E, and hibiscus flower extract. An overnight moisturizing vitamin C sleeping balm with cocoa butter for dry lips. It has just been really helping with the lips. The next morning, it doesn't look and feel dry, cracked, and chapped. I kind of apply this throughout the day. Wish that they did have this in a tube so you can kind of throw it into your bag and just reapply throughout the day, but it's a really good one. It's also affordable, not nearly as expensive as the one from Laneige. I think it is probably about eight or nine dollars less. It smells a bit citrusy in my opinion, but it's such a good lip sleeping mask. Highly recommend this one from I Do Care. So let's talk about a lip combo currently wearing today. Kind of found myself always grabbing for these couple of products. The first one is the LA Girl Shockwave Lip Liner in Gingerbread, which is completely out. I mean, that's how much I have left. It's barely anything. I need to pick up a new one. It's just a really pretty nudie brown. See, I can't even swatch it because it's basically gone. It's a nude brown, very pretty. All over the lips is a Milani lipstick in the shade called Tease. A warm toned brown all over the lips. These have a matte finish, so they can be a little bit on the drying side depending on the condition of your lips. So I'll take the Wet n Wild Cloud Pout Marshmallow Lip Mousse. It's in the shade Fluffer Mutter, so I'll apply it in the center of the lip, lightens the center a bit. The formula of the Cloud Pouts are very soft. It feels like a mousse. It's very comfortable on the lips. And then over top, we go with the Milani Keep It Full Nourishing Lip Plumper in the shade Luminoso. So it does give it a bit of a sheen, a bit of a shine in the middle. The combination is beautiful. It's what's on the lips today. 
if you're curious about a couple other uh, lip combos I've been into I'm gonna link the makeup tutorial using the sweet escapes palette because that one I do play around with a couple other Lip combos that are more on the nude side as well I wanted to give you an update on a fragrance which I'm gonna say I'm kind of obsessed with it It is from the brand clean reserve and it is called sparkling sugar I'm gonna put the notes of it here on the screen, but if you love fragrances from clean reserve i think you will also really like this because it does have a bit of a sweetness to it it's sweet it's fresh a different scent compared to clean reserve skin that one is a fragrance i could wear even to the gym this is something i would definitely wear out it's perfect for spring it's very light it's not fragrance where it's gonna hit you in the face because it's so strong it's a really light fragrance the lasting power one of you had actually mentioned that the clean reserve fragrances do not last very long on you which i can attest to that it does last me a good maybe like five hours but after that i would have to reapply so that's the only downside about the clean fragrances even the clean reserve skin i kind of noticed that it doesn't last very long probably gonna pick up a full size of this this is a good one to kind of mix into the fragrances especially for the upcoming spring and summer months unfortunately we do have two fails this month and the first one is going to the brand l'oreal and this is called their 24 hour pore minimizer it contains 1% aha lha bha and it's supposed to blur your pores now the formula kind of reminds me a little bit of the elf hydro grip primer i think that's the name of it kind of reminds me of that except it's not sticky it really glides onto the skin and it does help blur out the pores which i tend to put this on the forehead the nose and also down here by the chin it absorbs into the skin quickly the biggest gripe about this product is that it pills terribly and when i mean it pills it's when you apply it onto the skin and then you apply the foundation over top no matter what foundation it is by the way i'm not using it today because i didn't want to have that issue it uh, starts to kind of peel off like you will see it and you can actually even roll it off and it is this product because it's only in the areas wherever i placed this literally like roll it off that's just how bad it pills on me please let me know if you've also experienced the same thing happening to you whenever you use this product but it just pills terribly it doesn't matter how long i let it set into the skin it just pills and then lastly for fails we have a dry shampoo from the brand collab this is their dry shampoo plus overnight renew it's supposed to be an amazing overnight detox formula it absorbs impurities conditions scalp works while you sleep and it also has a calming scent so I have used this a couple of times essentially what you do well because just like a little context i don't wash my hair every single day Kind of been training my hair that way the past uh, couple of years so maybe i'll wash my hair every like two three days max in between do you use dry shampoo i was really curious about this because it does say it has that amazing overnight detox formula so what you do at night is you will just spray this onto the roots of your hair different sections and then you leave it on overnight and then the next morning your hair is supposed to feel clean which it does by the way biggest issue with this would be the scent because it smelled terrible it smells like eucalyptus which i do like but this one has a very prominent eucalyptus scent that i could smell everywhere like i felt like i had actually doused myself with this after running a few errands i had to just jump in the shower because it just smelled so terrible i felt like everybody could smell the scent of this don't get me wrong it is a good dry shampoo and if you like the scent of this then i think you will appreciate this product but the scent was just not my cup of tea could not stand it so unfortunately this was a fail for me this month so that's everything we tested out for the month of february please let me know if you have tried any of these products out would love to hear your thoughts how they worked out for you we all have different experiences using makeup products hair products uh body care products and always love chatting with you and hearing your experiences and also your recommendations on products to check out as always thank you so much for hanging out for this video if you enjoyed it found it helpful and enjoyed hanging out please make sure you give it a like subscribe if you have not already would love for you to be part of the chicky crew thank you chicky so much for watching have an amazing wonderful week and i'll see you in the next video Mwah.